And there are other stories that, that, that Christ talks about this, this kind of hidden thing in the, you know, the, the pearl in the field. There are many images of, uh, of that as well. There's also the, the story of um, Elisha and the widow. It's a very similar story than the one that you find, for example, for the, uh, the Maccabean revolt. You have this notion of a, um, a time where there's no food, you know, and there's a drought and everybody's dying of hunger. And there's this widow who, uh, who has a, uh, a last, one last jar of oil. And uh, she's like, this is it, I'm going to die. And Elisha tells her to go to the jar of oil. And when she goes, the jar of oil never runs out. And so this idea that, that the jar of oil, and oil is similar even to fire because it, it's a glistening liquid. It reflects, you know, it's, it's like a, it's what they use to anoint kings. And so it's like this, this kind of light that comes down, a kind of solid light that comes down. And so the oil is just, just doesn't, uh, never completely runs out. Um, and you can see that Elisha also resurrects the son of a widow. And so this resurrection of the son of the widow and also the oil that, that doesn't run out is the same as this little light, this little flicker at Hanukkah that doesn't, doesn't go out. And it's the same as the sun, which goes down at the solstice and then, you know, starts to come back out again out of this kind of secret dark place.